YouTube are fancy. I'm coming to you with a packing video with something new. Two things, three things that are new to me uh, may not be new to you guys. So I'm coming to you with the out to sea print. Um, I'm going to be packing this bag because my husband is in the U.S. Navy and he um, is going out to sea. And when he comes home from deployments, it's a long waiting period. It's like hurry up and wait. And you wait and wait and wait and wait. So I'm going to pack this bag to deal with that wait time. But then I also want to try out the new out to sea Hello Kitty Super V. And I also have some new toys. You know, I've been uh, doing Kipling a lot. And I love Kipling. And one thing that is hard to get here in the U.S. is the Iafa pouches. This is an old set. I just so happened got it off of eBay. But I have purchased a newer set using uh, Amazon UK. So you might want to check that out. I will try to give you some size comparisons for the video. Let's get started. So the Super B has is not structured. So it's going to be kind of hard in this video. I'm going to try to help it out. This is a change pad. I actually bought it for a friend. So I'm not taking the tags off of it, but I'm doing it for video purposes. Okay. Another thing that I'm going to try to stand it up with structurally, I have a Hydro Flask. I know people talk about the swell bottles and stuff like that, and they're great. This Hydro Flask keeps things super, super cold. So I'm going to go ahead and slip that into the front pouch. And this is a 40 ounce Hydro Flask. So I, we drink a lot. And being out in the hot sun, you usually just slides in here with no problem. But it got time to end up on the bottom. There you go. So that is going in there for the boys. I have, and I have a one-year-old and a four-year-old. Um, this is the Thomas brand sippy cup for one of them. Whoever grabs it first. And that goes in there. And as you see, I have to put my hand beside it. I doubt that I have to put the other one in there, but let's just try and see. Kind of goes in there, not really. Now, wouldn't really trust it, so I'm going to take it back out. But at least one of them fit in there. We'll figure out where the other one is going to go. So inside it has two big open pocket, uh, pockets, and then it has a zipper pocket along the back. I'm going to set this to the side. So I'm going to explain our Kipling Iacas. So we have three sets, small, medium, and large. And I know I was curious as to what do these bags look like? How do they compare to the Jujube set? Keep in mind, I don't own a new UV set. I just own what you see here. And I have a bunch of clips. So comparing to the quick, you see this is a large set piece. And keep in mind, a large set piece has uh, gussets on the side. They usually come to uh, clipped all together by this ring. And then they have this strap. So this is the same width, but with this knot pack, it clears it for about an inch high. Okay, so that gives you an estimation of how big the large Iaka is. So in the large Iaka piece, I have a whole bunch of snacks. I have some uh, Mott's applesauce. I have some fruit leathers. I have some these new granola fruit uh, coins by uh, Pirates City brand. And then I have some uh, goldfish. Some raisins right here, some nuts for me, a few Fig Newton bars. So those are dry snacks. I know people do the fuel cell. You could totally rock that in this bag. I do not have one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to slide this into my kitchen bag. I'm actually gonna sit it, I mean onto my uh super bee. I'm gonna just slide it on the side. Then in my medium. To give you an idea as to this medium, usually I use the GGB Quick as my diapering needs. Um, I know this is full and this is not, but to give you an idea, and this is about true to life, it is still a little bit taller than the than the um, the Quick is a little bit taller. When it packed, it's not too much taller. It's maybe a fourth of an inch taller, but it is definitely wider even with it packed. Okay. So that gives you an idea, and they do hold about the same thing. Um, from my understanding from video, watching videos, this holds about what a large set piece would hold from QGB. So in here, I have a disposable change pad. I have the um, wire pouch. I do love these, and they fit in here so, so nicely. I love that you can fill them in on the side. You have your little wristlet. I was a little bit concerned about this door. 
being too flimsy and not holding it more. But I've had these for a couple weeks now. This has been awesome. And then I have in here one, two, three, four, size four Huggies diapers. And they're all in here. So that's cool. I'm going to put this in the Super B. I'll show you the Super B again in a minute. And this is the smallest of them all. Hopefully, you can see them against the black background. So this is a quick, once again. It's definitely bigger than the quick. I have here also a quick split. And it is just a tad bit bigger than the quick lit. The items that I have in here do fit in the quick lit, but more fit in this little piece. So that just maybe gives you a little bit of an idea. I'm gonna put these off to the side. So in here I have some um, first aid, mommy essentials. I have some band-aids and back to tracing, back to tracing, which is also neosporin. Some lotion, hand lotion for me, some regular lotion, some, uh, I love Kurofi. Kurofi is my favorite, but this is full with important little punch cards and um, discount stuff. Um, some Kleenex, some hair uh, brushes, hair ties, some lip glosses, and a mirror. So all that lovely stuff fits into that small piece. And like I said, it will fit into a um, it will fit into a Quicklet. My Quicklet was made by Verla Renee Flower Flop. Fowler, you can find her on the GGB Facebook page, but all that fit in there, and it looks a little rowdy now, but it can fit in there really well. I'm just working fast for the video. You slide that in there as well. Also, what I'm going to be putting in here, this is a Planet Wise wet dry uh, wet bag, and I have in here a, not even a full change of clothes. I have in here shirts and a romper of the shirt. It's a PT gear shirt for my oldest son, just in case he gets his shirt dirty, and a romper for the youngest one. So I'm going to keep it in the dry part, and that way if they dirty up or soil up diapers or clothes, I can put it in the wet part. And I just have that folded. I'm going to set it inside of my Super B as well. <clears throat> so here's my Super B back in front of us. The other thing that I'm going to put in here, continuing with my white pouch, I know I have a, a white pouch with wipes in there, but these are so amazing. And I like that they have the 60 count as well. And you just reach for wipes for everything. Kids, they have a lot of stuff at these deployment programs. Uh, they have cotton candy. They have a lot to keep them busy painting. You can paint signs. So this is just going to be super, super handy. I'm going to put that actually in one of the uh, mesh pockets. And then in the other mesh pocket, I'm going to put my phone. This is the Kipling Marla I talked about in other videos. Long uh, strap. I'm going to just wrap that around just in case I need to throw it out and put it on my body. Just going to throw that back there. <clears throat> um, like I said, they have lots of activities. Has the key fob mm -hmm. on here, so I'm going to use that key fob to put my keys on. And so I think that I am good. I have a couple of things I'll show you that I will bring on such an occasion. So I think I'm good. So I can zip that up. Going back, oh, one more thing I forgot. I forgot my other son's cup. And it does fit in here in the corner quite nicely. Okay, zip me back up. A lot of people were talking about their iPhones. This is an iPhone 6. It fits into the zipper, front zipper pouch. And it has about that much room to spare. So what is that, about an inch before it gets to the zipper? I don't know if you could tell. It has about an inch to get to the zipper. And I'm trying to look around and see if there's anything else. Oh, I forgot one more important thing. Um, this is my monocular. I'm visually impaired, so I have my monocular. It fits nicely inside a UGB coin purse. I need that, need that, so I'm actually gonna drop that in the same place with my phone because I'll probably need just as much as my phone. And there you have it. There is the Super B fully packed on your spouse coming back from being out to sea. Um, everything fully loaded. The only thing that I will add to it is I have a rolled up blanket with a nice little handle. You could put it in here if you'd like, but 
Um, I see it could probably fit across the top if it was laying down. Or it could go in there on the bottom. It's up to you. Or you could not put it in here at all. But it fits, okay? So that's a good thing. And that would be just perfect for coming back from deployment. Perfect bag. Put this in the back of your wagon. Throw the kids in the wagon and drag them for that half mile to a mile hike from the car to the field. Perfect stuff. If you'd like to see more in-depth details, I will be getting a Jujube set to compare the Aka to really, really soon if you'd like to see a video on that or anything else that you have seen today more in-depth. Um, please leave a comment below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And you guys have a blessed day.